Hey everyone, it's your boy Deadluck here, and today we'll be discussing the new era in Roblox. Just a warning before this video begins, this video is my opinion. If you disagree with me, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you, if you guys can give me some more feedback on what I can improve on as a content creator, please let me know in the comments down below too. Without further ado, let me first tell you what I mean by eras of Roblox. What I mean by eras of Roblox is long periods of time where one game category is dominating the Roblox platform. For example, roleplay, first person shooters, obbies, tycoons, and there's a lot more. So, I joined Roblox back in early 2016, so that is where we are going to be starting the eras of Roblox. So, I joined on Roblox back in 2016, in my opinion, and if I remember right, Tycoon games were dominating the, on the platform. Not actually dominating, but there wasn't a lot of new Tycoon games back then. I'm totally not talking out of my ass right now because I am biased towards Tycoons and I joined Roblox because of a Tycoon. But anyways, there really weren't any games dominating the platform that I can remember back then. But let's fast forward to the time I do know well, 2018 to 2019 was, in my opinion, the dark ages of Roblox. Let me tell you the reason. Wait, wait, wait. Don't get me wrong. There are good simulators, like Bee Swarm Simulator, Fishy Simulator, but I'm talking about your typical simulator, like Saber Simulator, Ninja Legends, Bubblegum Simulator, and more. The, these are all the same thing, but in different concepts. You click a mouse, you have a bag, when it's full, you sell it, you buy more stuff. And it's on repeat. And you do it on repeat, on repeat, on repeat. Not even going to mention, they're all cash grabs. That's all they're there for. You think the developers actually care that much? No, they don't. They just want Robux. It's a cash grab. That's all these simulators are, are cash grabs. And I wouldn't mind it if it didn't take up the front page. <laughs> these simulators, like, take the front page of Roblox and it's, like, kind of ridiculous. That's a huge problem there. Thankfully, the dark ages are ending on Roblox, and a new era is rising in Roblox. Simulators are starting to die out. I'm not saying they aren't popular. Simulators are still there, but they are dying and losing player count. So, what is the new era that we are going to, Deck of Luck, you might say? Well, it's better than simulators, but I will let Editor Deck take over. Personally, I am not a roleplay type of person. I don't enjoy slash play roleplay games like Adopt Me, Royal High, and Bloxburg. But roleplay games, or at least the roleplay games we have now, are a whole lot better than simulators. For example, they are all roleplay, but they are totally different from each other. Besides Meat City and Adopt Me, which they're basically the same thing. But yeah, I might not enjoy roleplay games myself, but. This looks like it's going to be the new era in Roblox, judging by how Adopt Me just beat over a million people in Roblox. That had never been happened in Roblox. I don't mind because I see new games on the front page that are not simulators, and it's a win-win pretty much. So it looks like roleplay games are going to be the new era, and yeah. Alright guys, that's probably going to be it for this video guys. Please let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with me or disagree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, I'm interested on... I mean, I need some more feedback on how I can improve my channel. So if you can please do that too. That would mean a lot to me. But anyway guys, 500 subs. I'm going to be doing a huge event. And I'm going to be doing a face reveal. Quotation marks around that. And yeah, my name is Deck of Luck. And I'll see you guys. In the next video, like a sub right now or I'll punch your dog in the face and you have bad luck for five years and also you